Over the last couple of years, since the full-scale Russian invasion in Ukraine, we've seen both some of the best and some of the worst of EU foreign policy. Uh, on the one hand, in the aftermath of the Russian invasion, uh, the EU has been, well, has been reacting in a way that has by many been called the geopolitical awakening by the EU, coordinating in an astonishing and unprecedented way resources, policy positions, uh, and so forth, and that was for many in the EU a reason for encouragement also uh, to herald a new era in European foreign policy in other policy in other regions of the world and in other policy areas. On the other side, the EU's reaction or lack thereof to the war in Gaza and to the carnage that happened uh, in the aftermath uh, of the of Hamas attacks on Israel on October 7th, 2023. Um, really read to a quite opposite impression in that it embodied all of uh, the flaws and all of the uh, uh, faults that have been criticized in EU foreign policy making uh, in the year previous. So the question is really at this point is has that European geopolitical awakening that many held after the, uh, it's the European reaction to Ukraine really taken place? Had it sunk in? How deep is that awakening? Is that something that we can apply to other cases? And in particular, this is a question that's being raised in, the, uh, in, an, in an electoral year where we do not only have the European Parliament election, what we have, but also in the United States uh, and the, the, the outlook of a potential Trump II raises the question of what will happen to European foreign policy uh, in Ukraine and in many other parts of the world um, when it doesn't uh, any more count with the backing of the United States. And the, all the cases that are often mentioned as the, the, the success stories of European foreign policy, from Ukraine to the Iran nuclear case, uh, all, uh, all go backwards once the US is taken out of the equation. So this year, 2024, is going to be a threshold year for European foreign policy as it develops its capacity as a geopolitical power moving forward.